Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a video on sponge filters and filters that run on air pumps. We've had so many questions about these in the last few weeks that I thought I would answer some of them in this video. So for these type of filters to work, you need an air pump, tubing and then some valves. We use the three-way valve so that we can run three filters off this one air pump and the valves are fully adjustable so that you can adjust the water flow in the tank which is what makes them ideal for beta fish. The little red things they are the return valves and they stop the water from flowing back through the tubing and into the air pump. I'm going to start with the DIY filters and this one is one that we made. If you want to see how we did it, I will leave the information in the top right corner in the little iCard. These filters are ideal for small tanks and also for beta tanks. They have the mechanical filtration and the biological filtration. We have the biomedia in the bottom, the next layer is polyfill and then we have the sponge layer. So these work really well and again because they work on the, the air pump then you can adjust the flow so it doesn't have to be too strong for the beta. This next filter I'm not going to go too much into detail on because as you can see it's very similar to our DIY one. This is one that we bought on Amazon and I would highly recommend this for beta tanks. I will leave a link to it in the description box below if you want to take a look at it. This one again runs off the air pump and as you can see it has the biomedia and the sponges and the flow is very adjustable. I have this in several of my tanks and I actually also use it as secondary filtration in our female sorority tank. Do think this filter is a little big in this tank and the tank that you're looking at right now is a two and a half gallon. However, I am right now just waiting for some more sponge filters to come in. I do think that it is a great filter for three gallons and up. I would say from three to 10 gallons. Sponge filters also make great secondary filtration in larger tanks. I have some in my goldfish tank and they're purely there just for the extra beneficial bacteria. The thing to remember Remember, with sponge filters, especially in a smaller beta tank, is because the water movement is so low, then it generally will not pick up the dirt the same as a regular filter. So you do need to be very, very thorough when it comes to vacuuming your substrate to make sure that you get all that waste and any uneaten food out. I would say that's probably the one downside to these filters is you just need to pay extra attention when it comes to cleaning the tank. Okay, so the tank you're looking at now has a mini sponge filter. So this is just purely a sponge and all you need for this is the tubing that clips into the top of that clear tube. I got these on Amazon and I will leave links in the description box below for them. I find that these are the perfect sponge for a two and a half gallon tank because they are just the mini sponges and so they don't take up a lot of room and yet you can get some beneficial bacteria growing on that sponge and obviously that gives a healthier environment for your fish. In our newly set up divided tank we've also used the basic sponge filters. On the left side we've used the mini one and then on the right side we've used one that is slightly bigger and so far these are working out great for us. Sponge filters are also very very easy to clean. You just take the tubing out of them, take some aquarium water out of your tank and then just rinse that sponge out in the aquarium water. You must always wash your filtration media in aquarium water otherwise you will kill off the beneficial bacteria if you use tap water. So I usually just take out a jug of aquarium water and then I'll take the sponges out and I'll just rinse them out in that. I usually do it about once a month. With the DIY filter and the other corner filter I rinse the sponges out and then I always replace the polyfill. Now the polyfill we get from Michaels and you must make sure that it is 100% polyester and that it has no added chemicals. I then also just rinse off the biomedia in the bottom and then put it all back together and again I usually do that about once every month. I will leave links in the description box below for the sponge filters we use and also 
for the air pump that we use. I do hope this video was helpful and answered some of your questions. If it did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.